Good evening, everybody. Uh, so, uh, today I'm going to do a talk on Site Core Horizon. Just a quick question anyone installed Horizon? Not the really others in it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're about, all you're about about to find out. <laughs> okay, so just one for each man. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. Because whatever I told you, you probably all believed. Um, <laughs> so, a little bit about me. Um, I think. Most people don't believe met me before, but um, <laughs> I organised uh, this sort of along with uh, a couple of other people, um, did an MVP for three years, and um, I'm a freelance site core developer. Worked with site core for quite a long time now. Um, so, Horizon, what is it? Uh, for, 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 <laughs> for Ryan, so um, it's built as the next generation editor in the site core experience platform. Uh, so, that's what site core say. Um, it's essentially a brand new modern um, editing experience for Sitecore um, and it provides three kind of key features which you see up there. So you've got page editor, so it's now called page editor again, not experience editor, page yeah. editor is back. <laughs> uh, it's technology now um, much better, I think, uh, or it certainly will be once it's finished. Um, simulate load, which basically gives you the um, to see your pages in the different devices, so you can preview it on mobile, desktop, tablet, uh, see what your page looks like very quickly and easily as well. Um, and then inside view, which um, gives you a bunch of information about your page, things like uh, visit, value per page, uh, page conversion, uh, the time of the page, and the bounce rates. Um, so those are the three kind of core cool features. Today we're going to focus mostly on page editor. Um, it's only available in Site 4 9 3, so the very latest version of Site 4, um, and it doesn't come installed out of the box in 9 3. You have to install it as a separate module. I don't know if you plan, I don't know if it's really safe to have it as, a, as an extra installable uh, option, um, but at the moment it comes up separately. So the tech stack is pretty modern, so it's got Angular 7.2, um, that's what it's built with, uh, with Node.js for the server side running. Um, it is basically installed all from your host as part of the setup, um, and it's the first application to run inside your from your host. And it uses Sitecore Identity for authentication. So when you uh, visit Horizon, or if you mention it directly in your browser, um, it, it runs its own website essentially. Uh, if you aren't logged in, it will take you to the uh, Identity Service to actually sign in so you can use it. Um, and it interfaces with Sitecore via GraphQL API. Data. And the important thing, which I'll be shooting the demo in a bit, is it's fast, um, which is great. So, a little bit about installing it. Um, so, you've got to install Cycle 9.3 first, and then there's a bunch of prerequisites. You need to have HTTPS, you need to have SIP, the latest version 2.2, um, you need to have identity, Cycle Identity, which is allowed us to install 9.3 in a normal way, and web, web socket protocol installed. You also need the .NET Core runtime bundle, which you wouldn't want. Uh, and then it specifies Node 10 and NPM 6. But, uh, I've installed Horizon about three times, I think, and I didn't have these necessarily the exact versions in it. It seems to work okay, but that's what they recommend. Uh, and you also, importantly, need a separate license with Horizon installed uh, and added on it, uh, included on it, which is probably the blocker to a lot of people having a play with Horizon. Um, and then you uh, basically download the Site4 Horizon install packages from the Site4 devs uh, site, and uh, there's a parameters file which you can configure with things like your Site4 identity instance, your license file path, um, your Site4 instance uh, uh, path and settings, uh, and then you run the install flash up it, and it go away and get this thing installed. Um, and hopefully it will work. However, there's a bunch of things that may well go wrong. Uh, I wrote a blog post, that link at the bottom there, um, which might help you out with some of the errors you might hit. Some of them might be node errors, and some of them might be things like uh, permissions when you're trying to spin up the, um, the Horizon instance, sometimes it's not got the right settings, etc. So that blog post might help you with solving some of those issues. So, yeah, so is, uh, is Horizon available on partner licenses? Is it available if you've got partner licenses? On a partner license, uh, it probably is. I'm sure it's yeah. As I understand it, they're, they're not 
charging you more for it. It's just that if your license file was generated before they ship this, you won't have the white flag. You just need a recent license for that flight for that flight to be there. Okay. <coughs> so yeah, hopefully you can adapt a bit. So payday earth, this is what payday looks like where baby Yoda is looking. And um, so there's a this kind of split into three sections. You've got your your left hand what's called the free pane, the center section, which is content pane, and then the right hand section, which is called the information pane. Um, and these, well, certainly the the right hand pane will adapt um, depending on what you what you click on. Um, so at the moment, it, the right hand pane is showing some information about that particular page. But if I then start clicking, for example, in here, this is the rich text that will then change to show you rich text elements. Um, so it will. It will change and adapt depending on what, what apps you're using and what you're also interacting with at the time. Uh, you can navigate the site using the, the links on the page. Uh, you'll notice there's this little auto save icon up here, which will save your progress as you go along, which may be a good or a bad thing, uh, depending on what you accidentally might have done. But there is an undo and redo option. You can also drag and drop stuff to build pages. I'll show you that in a bit. You can move pages and importantly their content items through workflow in one go, which uh, I know experience has got some of that built in or at least tells you when things are uh, have not been set to the right workflow state to publish the page, for example. But um, uh, Horizon will help you with that. Um, and then if you want to collapse the panels, you can use these little collapse icons to make a bit more space. You can also create, edit, delete, and rename pages as you would expect. Um, and I don't understand it always edits the final layout of the page. I'm not sure if you can edit the shared layout or if you even ever want to do that, um, but it kind of makes sense it edits the final layout. Um, and then you can also click the icons at the top in the middle to switch to the device or the little uh, bar graph uh, icon to, put, to go to the inside view. Um, and we'll see that a bit more in demo. So there is some limitations, uh, and this is possibly one of the reasons a um, number of people haven't really spent much time looking at Ryzen yet because uh, some people are aware that there are some limitations. Uh, but I think it's got the, the basic core functionality, uh, but these are some limitations. So field types is probably one of the, the biggest ones at the moment. It only supports single and multiple line text fields, which text fields, but with a brand new editor using Quill um, and then image fields. I've not actually tried yet, but I will try and update my demo at some point to try what happens if you put like a tree list field or something on there. I'm assuming that it will um, pay data will ignore it effectively. And from what I've been told by Site4, the reason for that is that pay data doesn't have the um, compatibility built in at the moment. It's not that it won't work, it's just a, um, it's kind of a customized version. Uh, so they need, they need to actually build compatibility into these field types. Um, and hopefully any custom fields that are based on build types, say like a tree list or a, uh, a multi list field, um, would, would work if the pattern box field works as well. Uh, so one of the other limitations is rendering properties don't work. Um, so you've got rendering parameters for things like layout settings and stuff that they're not supported at the moment. And partly uh, SSA and JSS are partly supported as well. So JSS um, sites can they can be open in Horizon, but as I understand it, the the routing's broken in some of the pages, so you can't like, navigate your pages properly, and also you can't click on fields and edit fields on JSS sites at the moment. And SSA, um, because rendering parameters don't work, SSA relies quite heavily on that, um, so that causes some issues. And also, content items that are created, uh, you can you can drop rendering in the page. SSA inside content editor first to then use them. And you also can't do composite, I think they're called composite components, like tabs and uh, carousels and stuff like that. They're not compatible with uh, page edit at the moment. Um, also the publish service, publishing page just doesn't work either. I don't know what that is. Normal, normal publishing. Because <laughs> <laughs> text to publishing service overrides <coughs> render things in, in the editor experience inside uh, this doesn't have the same extension model, so it, this this is kind of hard coded to the old endpoints for yeah. original publishing, and you yeah. can't you can't really configure this to the new ones. That makes sense. Yeah, 
Yeah, so pu publishing does work, but only traditional. Um, so, do you mind explaining what the reason is behind the creation of this? It's, I don't think the, the recommendation yet is you should be using Horizon. I, I, it's not feature complete yet, but I think um, it's just interesting to take a look at it and see what, what it does now yeah. and, and then see how it evolves. Mm. Um, but yeah, I think, like um, Joan was saying, I mean, one of the key drivers will be the kind of SaaS model. And I think a, a lot of people have built custom experience editor extensions and full bars and add-ons and, and all sort of bits, bits and bobs that work in experience editor that they're kind of custom customized javascripts um, that you load in and uh, same with the content editor almost every site for sites got some content editor customization and i think the idea is if you move into the SaaS model they need to try and step away from some of that and, and, and try and standardize things a little bit more and at least have a more modular based approach to how customization is achieved and I guess Horizon's the uh, good the ability to do that because of being like a plug-in architecture that's much more upgrade proof and so on for customizing it rather than some of the sort of hacks that people might have done in you know experience edit or content editor. So it'll be interesting to see. But um, at the moment it's so early on there isn't, to my knowledge, any kind of plug-in architecture to customize it yet. Um, well the the, the site that hosts is the plug-in architecture, it's just they're not yeah. really documented. Do yeah, to yeah. extend this at, that, at this point, so they, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's somebody somewhere who's reverse engineering DLLs and toying with them, but yeah, not, not really. Really. probably Jeremy. <laughs> <Germany. laughs> <laughs> no, 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 there's, there's probably a code in this. So <laughs> I can't touch this. <laughs> so, the other thing, it doesn't work on Safari yeah. on Mac, and um, <laughs> I've not tested it on Edge, but I'm assuming it does work on Edge. So, what I mean is, it doesn't work on IE. Yeah, so. um, works perfectly well in Chrome. I haven't really tested it much in the browsers. So, we'll go on to the demo. It's such a bad disk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you figure if he was going to steal some hardware, he should tweak the nose of a big litigious corporation. Yeah, I think it is a bit tricky to do in the DLC notes. I won't put it past him. Yeah, I'll probably get sued for it. So, this is a site for Horizon 3 installed, pretty much vanilla, um, but I've installed Horizon, um, set up a couple of test pages, set up um, uh, a couple of test components and, and uh, different templates and stuff. Um, <coughs> and this is this is Horizon, so what you get out of the box are like the home page. So we can kind of zoom through and that's what's nice. It's, 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 it's the TV. Yeah, it's the TV. Yeah. Chrome out of it. Okay, so this is this is basically the default kind of page you get with Verizon when you install it, um, which is editable, um, but it's not really like you know such a main page or anything. Like that. It's just kind of a page, um, just to kind of demonstrate uh, editing abilities. Um, so we've been through all the general stuff. Um, so I thought what I'd do is I'd demonstrate um, actually creating a custom page with some components and what that what that might look like. So um, so this is. Just a, a very kind of simple MVC page, uh, which has got um, a bit of static content at the top, and then I've created a component uh, called Create Ugly Test Rendering. Um, and if you click on it there, you'll see um, it's given me a bit of information uh, about the, the content item that I'm using and what it's created and so on. Um, and I can <coughs> my and it has a, it's only got three fields. So it's got a title field, which is just a single line text field. It's got my the rich text field, which you can see now I'm just writing pain and get some uh, rich text options. Um, and then it also has an image field in it as well. Um, so you can see my image field there. Um, and I've just got a bit of CSS that goes with it. Um, I won't show it because <laughs> front end developers are ripping apart, but um, <coughs> just to lay this out and start a little bit. Um, so just to kind of show you uh, building a page, um, you can click, so that's just an empty placeholder I've got there, click add to page down here, and you can actually drag and drop, as Jeremy was saying, stuff in here. So um, it's simple just to click it. Well, yeah, 
<laughs> there is that. There's and if I, I think, <laughs> when you've got more complicated layouts and these deals and these components and driving models, probably a bit less hassle than the way you would think of the like one thing that you've got at the moment. Yeah, I can kind of see how it might how it might evolve. Um, but yeah, so you so add them to the page and then uh, you can then um, remove them if you want. Um, uh, you can choose to. Um, but you can, um, with sort of image browsing functionality, is, is quite a lot quicker, I think, than um, the existing ones, like speed tests as well. I not um, anyone using Alder with the, the loads of amazing <coughs> local folders. Has not, anybody done that yet? Not, not yet. I mean, because um, this is literally only just came out in 93, and a lot of clients won't know about 3 yet. Um, and certainly, I imagine. I just no, wonder, it's, it's wonder if anybody's delay stats no. against the speed of, you know. No, but it's, it's, it's that. yeah, I mean, uh, I can't remember exactly what the image functionality tool uses, but everything, because it's built, you know, the latest kind of tech with Angular Node, it's all a lot snappier, a lot quicker, um, you know, you haven't got the, the, the low time of the speed UI. So that, that works um, a lot better. Um, but you can um, you can kind of create new, new pages uh, here. So you can create them at the, the same level or underneath. Um, and it will let you create pages based on what the, the insert um, options are on that particular page. Um, you know, so it's pretty, pretty um, snappy and responsive. Um, then you know you can delete them. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was just working on for like um, for like a, your experience in terms of like markup for like the LP and stuff. Um, like, it uses yeah, so it's using my just like standard um, standard like uh, I'll show you my page. So um, yeah. <coughs> so yeah, I've just got test layout uh, here, uh, which is just rendering. Rendering out two different placeholders with a bit of, bit of um, CSS. Probably not that much CSS. Uh, <laughs> yeah. well, Sorry, CSS. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard coding for pages, I would be um, And then my test rendering here is just outputting you know, scripts. I'm not using Glass for anything here, which um, I could try and optimize at some point. I think it probably works fine. It's, it's just using the kind of editor Chrome components that you've got onto yeah. the page. Yeah, I mean, at, from what I've been told, the information we've tried to provide for up to now is that um, the limitations are just what they built into page editor at the moment because it's a slightly customized version of um, using those existing interfaces. So this shouldn't be a case of having to upgrade all your pages to work with with um, Horizon. So you can't use like where they were put and use it anything like that. Uh, well, I guess that's where we'll see some limitations. Frames and, yeah, all that kind of stuff. That that'll be the bits that probably um, probably won't work. But will um, eventually won't. Um, well, it depends. They may decide not to build the box. We, like. we don't at this point. We don't know what feature set of fields in the new developer experience is going to be. They're still. Um, so you can then you can switch to the device viewer, and then you, know, you can see your page in, uh, in your desktop tablet uh, on mobile. Uh, doesn't look too bad considering. Um, so uh, obviously you can get a quick preview, which is which is quite nice, um, and then you can 
you switch to if I had in there since we don't have people in the shop on the moment, but you would have get some graphs here giving you information about the kind of engagement to be paid, uh, which is which is pretty cool. Um, so now I can sort of actually read um, read paid data. So there's probably quite a lot more I could show you, but um, hopefully that gives you sort of a basic idea of what what it does at the moment. You said before about like key lists and stuff like can you even see them on in this way? Is there a roadmap? Like I've asked that question. Um I haven't had that back yet is the honest answer. So um it, I think all other field support and so on is work in progress. I guess for the next release of Horizon would be with the next release of Cyberstore. One thing I forgot to share with publishers is that you can close the page and you'll get a little And then this was my page before. And I'll show you what it did. <laughs> and any other questions? No? Cool. Then we've right, yeah. finished on time. Nine o'clock. Have we got a look out?